and we're going to set up that optional role. So we have the disclosing parting here. Uh, we will be uh, sending this link to them and we want them to fill out the information of uh, that second recipient because we don't have that information ourselves. So it's either, uh, you can select here, uh, details required by form initiator, go ahead and click make optional and we can select, um, depending on your typical use case, if uh, it should be uh, by default required, if this part should be required or if it should not be required. And you can also provide some instructions. I also want to mention that the fixed recipients would be uh, a static parties. So it would be the same parties so if you have a, a co-signer of the company, for example, that needs to sign on each document you're sending, you could add uh, that person as a fixed recipient here. And here we have instructions for the initiator. So that would be the little pop-up window and we can add some instructions. Uh, you can also customize them a lot. So let's fill out. If you press this little arrow down here, you can also customize the color, the font, the size, etc. And make it bold. And same goes for the form success message. So this is what they will see once they have uh, completed the form. Okay, and redirect the form success URL after. Um, so this means that if you would like to redirect them to another website, for example, after they have completed your form, you can definitely do that. Or with the kiosk mode that we were um, talking about previously, where you can redirect to the new form, uh, you would simply put this online form link in this uh, uh, field here to redirect them to uh, a new form once they have completed. And the draft URL to use internally, that's, uh, would be this option here. So you would just select this little box there to create a draft URL. And like I said, this is for uh, internal use, so for your employees to uh, use to send this uh, document. And here we have uh, three of the links, the one to share directly with the recipients, one to embed into a, a website or application, for example, and then the draft online form link to use internally. So if you want to set up kiosk mode, you would simply copy this link here, and then we would edit the form again, and then we will add this uh, uh, URL in the form success URL field. Let's go ahead and test this. We're gonna go ahead and open on incognito window, and this is what it will look like. So as you can see, it has our logo here at the top. It also has uh, the instructions that we provided, and then you can select if the receiving party is available. I'm gonna go ahead and select no and then click Submit. So this is how your recipients would be if filling out your form. It's super easy to sign. And we click Finish, Confirm our signature, and complete it. So this would be the success message that we're seeing, uh, the thank you, and then it's redirecting to the form again, as you can see.